Sick of entitled Karens getting away with their behavior? In this video, we're flipping the script. Join us as we highlight the best moments where people fought back. Putting these Karens in their place and leaving them stunned and humiliated. It's time for some well-deserved justice. Mr. Karen got upset when he didn't get his side order, so he started causing a scene, filming the workers. Because why not turn a small hiccup into a high drama? Your name? You told me I had to like pull up. I didn't tell you to pull up. You told me I had to pull up to get a side because you were on a time limit. I said we can't add anything to the window because we're on a time limit. So you can't add anything I want. So anyway, he's recording me. He's recording me. I tell we don't have red beans and rice. We don't have red beans and rice. Close the window. Me. Okay. No, it's not. Can I have my food? Can I have my food? I won't move until you give me my food. I won't move until you give me my food. I'll park right here. I won't move until you give me my food. You can call the law. I won't move until you give me my food. Okay, you can't report me. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Thank you. Me. I got you. I'll go to your stuff. I'll go to your main manager. Oh, and flick me off too. Awesome. And I'd like my drinks, please. Can I have my drinks? I'll sit here all day. I need my drinks. Can I have my drink? All you need to do is give me my drink. Excuse me, you received your food? No, not my drinks, ma'am. What are your drinks? Two Dr. Peppers. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Yep. Feeling bored, Karen decided to spice up her night by harassing the worker, complaining about a messed up burger and demanding fresh fries. The worker denies at first, saying she complains every night about something, but eventually caves in just to get her to leave. Where's your manager? I am. Okay, and so you're going to ignore me as a customer trying to purchase some fries because you won't replace these fries because you messed up on my burger? I would not recommend you record. I don't care what you recommend. I'm going to record because that's my right, and this is how you guys treat customers. So are you going to deny me from trying to get some fries because you guys messed up on my burgers and you guys don't want to replace these cold ones? because I brought them back, you don't want to replace them and you don't want to ring me up for new ones because I'm trying to purchase new ones. Um, you come in every single day complaining that some... Sandwich you guys did something wrong, so... Yes, but our fries let, let's, were fresh. Let's, let's, well, okay, the fries the were fries fresh, were. but the burger was wrong. Yes. So when we get a burger that's wrong and this one is right, okay, for the second time, but the first time it was not right. It had mayo and it had pickles and it had everything but what it was supposed to have. And these fries came with the burger that was wrong, but you don't want to give me fresh fries with the fresh burger that you guys just made. So, okay, I'll give you one small fry, fresh. Okay, so take these back then and give me some fresh fries or are you gonna charge me for these fries? And I have to go through this because normally I'm pleasant with you every day, but it's my fault that they get something wrong. Unbelievable. I have to record for them to get something right and for them to do what they're supposed to do. It's unbelievable. These people waited a long time at the airport, so they took out their frustration on a random worker at the desk. The worker snapped and started screaming at them. Got the answer. How is that? How, how is this? We are busy. There is six then come. Where the f is anybody? Busy. Hey, then come tell Liar. us you're busy. Liar. How did I know? We don't how know what's going on. Just We're communicate. Lying. Communicate with your employees. Okay, hey. Hey. If, If, if somebody comes out and says, hey, we're busy, we'll be. Who's coming out? This isn't even my 
Oh, good. Okay. Who works here like this? Any, tell us that any thing. frontier employee yeah. could come tell us. Any frontier employee. This guy at the drive thru gets all annoyed because one of the drinks didn't have its lid on properly and it ends up soaking his pants. So he complained to the worker about it, but she just couldn't care less about it. So, this bullshit. Hey, yeah, so I, I, like, I never complain at all. But like, so there's been a few times that the lid hasn't been on my on my drink. So I got the, the cup holder and I had the three cups in my or sitting on my lap, and the lid wasn't on one of them. And I was right in the middle. Like we're we have our morning already planned and everything, and it soaked my pants all the way through my seat all the way through because the lid wasn't on one of those cups. So and I feel horrible because I, I don't know who put it on, but maybe if you can like tell the whole crew and don't worry, but just like tell the whole crew to tighten up those lids or something. Mm -hmm. Because it, it it was sitting just just like regular, and this was up, and it just spilled out before I even noticed it. My lap was filled full of tea. Okay, I'll let everyone know. All right, thank you. Yep. And see, no sorry or nothing. Yeah. No sorry or nothing. No, no. If I apologize, do you see what I'm talking yes. about? Do you see what I'm talking about, though? Yeah. That is rude. It's Lewistown McDonald's. Mr. Karen wouldn't stop pestering a worker about an alarm sound in the restaurant. Even when the worker tried to take his order, he kept on crying about the alarm sound. Yes, I would love to. Large cup. Is that like regularly going off all the time, that buzzer? Sorry? That buzzer? Yeah. Is that always going off? Yeah. You guys, can you guys take care of that? No, instead she walks towards me. I'll have an extra large coffee double-double, please. The alarm. Does that not irritate you? Do you work with that? That's crazy. She's just standing there instead of taking care of it. It's insane. Okay, so one extra large coffee. And a banana chocolate muffin, please. We don't have banana chocolate. Okay, fine. But blueberry muffin, please. Okay. My God. So your extra large coffee is black? Or like you guys understand that it's really irritating to stand, to be forced to stand or want to stand to get my coffee, right? And just be, be, yeah, be. Do you understand that's annoying? Yeah, we know that. But you're just standing there. It's a, I found it's that unbelievable. Thank you very much for taking care of it. Okay, That'll so be everything. Karen's throwing a fit over her soggy fries, demanding the worker to remake her food. At first, the worker refuses, saying that's what happens when they sit too long. But then they give in and agree to remake the order. I'm gonna fries come out really wet and soggy. And I was looking at the juice, there was a lot of juice right there. It's from the fish. Did you want new fries? Uh, Do you want a new dinner? Yeah, I ate about half the fries. Um, you're missing. It wasn't missing. I'm gonna go get Joseph. And um, like, just to show you as an example. Yeah. The, I'll go get Joseph. Okay, thanks. What was on Huh? What was on there was a lot of juice right there. And um, they got was, soggy. Huh? The fries got soggy, I guess. The fries got soggy and parts of the fish is soggy. I didn't know what was going on. I did my finger sniffed. It didn't smell like lemon. That was the only part of the tray that would have okay. seen like it was wet. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been out there for a half an hour now. I'm not going to remake it for you. You've been out there for a half an hour. You're not going to remake Okay. No, you've been out there for half an hour. That's the only thing that matters to you. Okay, well, when... Chris, why, yeah, you've been out there for half an hour eating, and then if it's been exposed like that, it doesn't last long. The liquid's eat. down to the bottom. That's how gravity works liquid. But just as soon as I'm eating the fries and I get down to the bottom, I'm discovering all this. This side was really gushy. This side had liquid to it. I'm dipping my fingers in both sides. I'm, I'm even so mind baffled. I'm even having to smell a lemon just to do a comparison. It's not lemon. I'm just wondering what that is. So I'm not in here to play back and forth cat and mouse okay. with y'all. So or you, anything have, you like have that. lemon in the dinner for the cod. That's how we serve, okay? And that's how we serve our fish for to go. So the condensation and everything takes into the fish and everything if you don't eat it right away. And if it sits in that container for a while, that's how it works. It, it hasn't been a full 30 minutes. I usually eat a lot more within a 30 minute span. 
Okay, so I can throw this away and I can make you a new one then if that's what you want to do. Please? Okay. Got a really f***ing attitude. Y'all also have a corporate office. If you want them, we'll sit in the car. I'll bring it off you. I'll just stand here and wait, sir. Okay. I have the rights to see what's going on with what I'm having to consume. Okay. Yeah. I just, oh. Our sweetheart. Fish, our fish and our fries are together and I am. Sweetheart, you didn't do anything wrong, but I'm noticing a very negative behavior and attitude from him. But then I know that Culver's have a corporate office. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen the Culver's down in Atlanta. So apparently I need to be talking to someone above him. Because apparently my skin color is, must be a problem or something. I don't think But you is. didn't do anything wrong, sweetheart. I don't think I don't the think The other young workers yelling did nothing wrong. I don't think your skin is your skin color is an issue at all. Well, that's not, that's not what he's showing. Boy. I understand what you're trying to say, but I've eaten that Culver's like different times in the past before. I've never seen that issue. I've never had that issue. But, but you're fine, honey. You can do anything wrong. These Karens just want to pay cash and refuse to use the kiosk. So they start arguing with the worker, getting on their nerves. The worker explains everything patiently, but they still insult him. Oh, how can I help you? No, I'm just here. I'm sorry? I'm just here. Okay. Have you, you guys made an order yet? Yeah. Can I just have a number, please? Okay. I'm missing a cheeseburger. You're, cheese, you're missing a what? Cheeseburger. Just a cheeseburger? Yeah. Can I ask you one question? Of course. Ask me all the questions. Okay, so why does it bother you so much about people not wanting to use the kiosk? It doesn't bother me. Uh -huh. It's the fact that this is very difficult to use because it has a whole different system. It's a different system, uh -huh. and that is easier. That is way easier than but, trying to use. But don't you get paid to be there? No, and I get paid to use that and get customers to use that. Uh -huh. That's what I get paid to do. I don't get paid to use this and uh -huh. learn how to use it. I do know how to use it, but it doesn't make it any easier because. There are certain things that we can do that that can't do, and that can do this can't do. What if you pay cash? You have to come you over here and pay cash. No, here. you order on there, press a button, and then pay here. That's only one thing I have to do on here. Because when you want to pay cash, you complete your order on there. Yeah. I press a button, and then I just take your cash. It didn't give an option. It said pay at kiosk. It didn't say pay at pay kiosk. You, it, then you have to do an extra step. You have to press the X button on the keypad itself. I'm going to be making signs to put on those because that is, I don't know, understand the reason why there is a button. I see. Oh. Have location for people. No, no, no. I have, I, I have, trust me, if you work here, you would understand that I have a lot of I work at McDonald's, I work at Taco Bell, I work at a bar with a bunch of drunks. And because those are, when they're drunk and they want to put their hands on you, you have to deal with them. Customer service is customer service, and a lot of people feel insulted the way that you were talking about humans themselves when you're one yourself. I will never discriminate against anybody who does not know how to use technology, but I will say that if they are refusing to try something new, because this is going to be disappearing. But you're just contradicting yourself. You're saying that you don't talk bad about them, but you just said that they're not using it. I never said that. I never said the word practically. I no one's in just do not want their averting to change. Unfortunately, this is going to be gone, and when it's gone, kiosk is going to be the only thing that's going to be available. And that's where you're going to stand there and help you? Yes. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm really not. Isn't this a kiosk, too? Isn't that a kiosk as well? Sir, Just one that you sir, personally sir, use? Please, I have been yelled at by everybody in that kitchen. I'm not yelling. manager and everybody. I really do not want to nitpick with you over a customer wanting to use a kiosk. Do not do it with me. I am not the one. I'm not right now. I'm not. I'm just talking. Mr. Karen was whining to the workers about spoiled meat. The workers didn't tolerate it and gave him a taste of his own medicine. He got upset and complained about bad service. I'm not being rude. Oh, you he yelled at me. You yelled at me. You we got you can serve me spoiled meat and all that. You got spoiled meat. That's it. So y'all serve spoiled meat. Yeah. This is what you do to customers instead of doing your job. Treat people that are actually working. No, actually not. Actually.
actually not. That's how you're treating us. They were no, nah, they were they weren't yelling. She she wasn't yeah, doing she's, she's more of a manager than you are. So she kept, here because you, you know what she told me? People. You know what she told me? She said keep the receipt. Because you never know, check your bag, it might be something missing. Yep. I was gonna throw the receipt away, but she did she she yep. did way better than what you were supposed to be doing. Period. You start yelling at me. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Because now you black and I'm white and I'm yelling at you. You don't want to. You just said black and white, so now you being racist. No, no. So now you being racist. racist. That's why you're yelling at me. No. You're telling me that I'm. If, if he's allergic to seafood, why is he even working this position? Why are you working? I can still work it. Why are you in the business? Huh? Why are you in the business? What? Because he, he said that. Okay, he's allergic to seafood. Okay, so he yelled at me. I'm allergic no. to seafood, so no, I'm not going to check. Longer. Look no. how you talking. Okay. Why you Look how. You talking? Yeah. I remember when you was a shorty, man. No. Huh? No. Huh? No. So now look at you. Look at you. Huh? Look at you. Look at you. What's going on? What's going on? What's your store number? Look at you as What's your store number? Okay, I know it's Tammy, and he took his name tag off, so he doing dirt. He being dirty. He ain't got no name tag. It's all good. This worker refuses service to a rude customer. The customer then acts like a Karen, filming her to make her look like the bad guy. Out of five. And why can't you help us? Because I don't want to anymore. Is that enough for you? Okay, goodbye. Have a good day. And if you need any other things, you can talk to the manager tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye. You're right. I am when you make me one. So oh, goodbye. No, no, no. You're no. Okay, whatever. I am. And I'm good at it. You so are. get the hell out of here. You are. No, we asked for your help. Get the hell out of here. You and your mother. Can get the hell out of here, okay? Because I don't give a damn. I, customers are always right in my store when I'm here. Can you believe this Karen at the restaurant? She wants to bring her service dog despite the worker saying no because of its hair. But she refuses to leave and causes a big scene over it. I guess her service dog must be made of cotton candy instead of fur. We, we don't allow dogs in the place. It's, it's just our rule. And what is your rule regarding service dogs? Because you can't have a rule that over that oversees federal law. So this is federal law. You're in the United States. Federal law means it's nationwide. The health department told us. That That's not what the health department told you. What did they office. tell you exactly? What did the health department? Do you have a name? Have do you have the name of the person at the health department? I can't do this after work. But you, you really want to sit in my place with your dog? That's a real. That's very impressive. I'm glad you love it that much. You're that you're really willing to do this. No, but I, I'm not trying to sit in your place with a service dog. I'm living my life with my service dog the way that I do every single day. And I go into certain establishments where they've made a real effort to become well versed on these laws. But then I come here. No, you can't violate federal law. This is federal law. Hanukkah Cafe, come on down without your service dog, please, because we don't allow dogs, because hair gets in the food. Like, if I come back down and have, and I brought only some food, the hair will get in the food. So we don't, so we Are you a manager that. here? I own it. What's your name, owner? I thought a woman owned it that was just outside. No, no, There's so no way that so you own this. Time. No, I'm going to continue to sit here. So oh, the fact that you just said that out loud and on camera is amazing so to me. Yeah. Oh my, that's, I, you know what, I... I, it's unfortunate that I have to be the one who brings this lesson to you in this brand new establishment, but I will be. Yeah, thank you, bud. Thank you, Owner. Sister. Thank you, African American sister. Bring a black, bring a black business down, babe. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I am disappointed in you, and I'm concerned that you were even allowed to own a business where you need to be so informed around these laws. No, nope, I won't. I will. It, didn't you say you were leaving to get the police? I'm done. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna. I don't want to interact with you anymore. So you're continuing to sit here and interact with me. I think she loves this place so much that she just wants to be in here. I don't think she has anywhere else to go. Would your dog like some water? No, thank you. I would love what I ordered and what I was told I was receiving. You have the right not to have service. Not service. And you in particular. 
That is what your individual said, but that was after he already stated that the reason for not serving me was because I had a service dog and that my dog had to leave. So you have already, you've already gotten past the point where it's an issue of just not serving an individual person. You've already established it's because of my using a service dog. You all not being well versed. You all not being well versed on the laws. And also, you all not just not being versed on the laws, but not being willing to get versed on the laws. You haven't given me any You're words. not willing to get versed on the laws. Uh, I, I know. Hi, I need help. You guys call? Yes. Thank you. So, I would like to share with you all what is. Enjoyed the episode of Karen's Gone Wild? Show some love by hitting that like button and commenting below. And if you feel like you aren't satisfied just yet, tap here for more Karen freakouts.